Go. Kyle Rayner is famously known for picking up the mantle of the Green Lantern and he was first introduced as an attempt to increase the popularity of the Green Lantern title. While Ron Mars and Daryl Banks had hoped that Kyle would elevate the series with his exciting presence and complex storylines, fans initially hesitated to accept Kyle as Hal Jordan's replacement as Green Lantern. However, Kyle Rayner did prove his worth over time and became one of the most prominent heroes in the series and today we will explore his character and tell you all about him. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Exploring the origins and backstory of Kyle Rayner and his journey into becoming Green Lantern. Kyle Rayner had quite a tragic childhood full of struggles. He was born to Aaron and Moira Rayner. Aaron Rayner was a CIA black ops agent who lived under the disguise of working for the military. Unfortunately, Kyle had a tumultuous childhood due to the nature of his father's job. They were constantly on the run and Aaron eventually left Kyle with his mother at the age of three. When Aaron did not return to them after a while, Kyle and his mother settled in Los Angeles. They struggled a lot, and Kyle was significantly scared after growing up without a father figure. He attended North Hollywood High School and eventually worked as a struggling graphic designer in Los Angeles. He ultimately even learned that his father's identity was Gabriel Vasquez, but he didn't much care for this information at that point. Kyle first started appearing in the Green Lantern storylines in the Green Lantern comics in 1994, when he saw a shooting star move upwards in the sky while on a date with his girlfriend, Alexandra Dewitt. We learned that the shooting star was none other than the famous Green Lantern Hal Jordan. In the meanwhile, Kyle looked at the star and even made a wish. Jordan had turned to insanity after Coast City was destroyed and he in turn destroyed the power battery, Guardians of the Universe and all of the Green Lantern Corps in a fit of rage. He then assumed the form of the villain Parallax and only one Guardian named Ganthet survived his rampage. Ganthet then used all his energy to conjure one last green power ring from the remnants of Jordan's ring and this ring had the ability to emit all kinds of energy. Finally, Ganthet appeared in front of Kyle in the 50th issue of these comics when Kyle noticed a green light falling towards him from the sky. Ganthet soon appeared in front of Kyle and declared him worthy enough to work as the new Green Lantern. While Kyle asked Ganthet about the ring and what he was supposed to do with it, Ganthet disappeared. Finally, Kyle put on the ring and transformed into the Green Lantern. Kyle was unsure about his newly gained powers and consulted his girlfriend. Alexandra helped him with his powers and even suggested that he redesign his suit so that others could distinguish between him and Hal Jordan's green Green Lantern. Kyle then paired up with Superman to defeat the evil Mongol, while Alexandra helped him learn more about the Green Lantern Corps and his role as a superhero. Eventually, she was killed by the evil villain known as Major Force, who was sent by government operatives to learn more about Kyle. Kyle almost killed him when the forces arrived and even the Golden Age Green Lantern Alan Scott showed up at the scene and taught him a little about the Green Lantern Corps. Alan told Kyle about Hal Jordan's path to insanity and how they would eventually have to confront him. All this while, Ganthet doubted Kyle's abilities, but Kyle kept trying to prove his worth. He finally even faced Parallax, who was trying to reshape the universe, and Kyle blew up the planet of Oa to put an end to Parallax's actions. After getting rid of him for a while, Kyle faced another Green Lantern named Adara, who was trying to steal his ring. When the ring did not work for her, she returned it to Kyle, who finally returned to Earth and settled in New York City. He also teamed up with Guy Gardner to defeat Major Force. He eventually met Flash, Superboy, and other heroes who helped him in his endeavours to establish himself. He briefly went out with Donna Troy, but the two had a tumultuous off-and-on relationship. While Kyle struggled to work as Green Lantern, he soon proved himself to be worthy of this title. Some of his memorable comic book story arcs. Kyle Rayner has appeared in countless story arcs across the DC Universe, and will explore some of these most important appearances across the comics. Rayner's reunion with Hal Jordan. During the final night story arc, as the superheroes were in a crisis when the entity known as Sun Eater was preparing to destroy the Earth's sun. In this situation, Kyle decided to approach Hal Jordan, aka Parallax, and ask him for assistance in dealing with the Sun Eater. While Hal had turned to the dark side, he showed his good side for one last time and destroyed the Sun Eater, even at the cost of his own life. Kyle then arranged for Hal Jordan's funeral, where several heroes, including Superman and Kyle himself, gave speeches. After this incident, Kyle became one of the first members of the JLA, also known as the Justice League of America. He even became close to heroes such as Superman and Batman and solidified his presence in their group. 
Kyle's conflicts with other Green Lanterns. While Kyle continued to work as Green Lantern, he faced another Green Lantern named Rogue. Rogue had decided to kill every other Green Lantern, and Kyle later even faced trouble in the form of a villain named Fatality. While Kyle defeated Fatality, he learned that Jon Stewart's Green Lantern was responsible for destroying her home and that she was looking for him. Kyle returned to Earth and discovered that Alan Scott's daughter, Jade, had shown up at his apartment. Meanwhile, Donna Troy broke up with Kyle after the death of her ex-husband and child and she further told him that she needed space. Kyle took this news to heart and headed to Hawaii for a break with Superboy. After returning, Kyle started dating Jade and he soon realised that trouble was far from over as Hal Jordan had once again declared his arrival. The other members of the DCU were thrilled to see him return as this Hal was the older version of himself and not the new evil Parallax. As Kyle started feeling out of place, Hal Jordan's evil self also reappeared. The two Hals ended up in a fight and soon returned to their worlds. Lastly, Hal handed a duplicate power ring to Kyle before leaving. Kyle initially thought of restarting the Green Lantern Corps with this ring, but that didn't work out, and he soon left after handing the ring to Jade. Kyle even started working for a magazine after this, but he would still run into trouble due to his superhero past. He was attacked by a bunch of manhunters who wanted to use him as a power source, and he even later faced Fatality once again. Fatality handed a yellow power ring to another entity named Nero, and Kyle had to work alongside the JLA to defeat Nero. This whole shebang made him reinstate state his superhero status. Eventually, Kyle returned to Jade and the two of them got into a relationship once again. Kyle's Battle with Oblivion During the Circle of Fire story arc In the Circle of Fire limited series, an entity known as Oblivion showed up on Earth and it was soon revealed that Oblivion was essentially the embodiment of Raynor's fears. Kyle had accidentally created Oblivion when he first received the ring. Then Kyle teamed up with Power Girl, Firestorm, Adam Strange and the Atom to defeat Oblivion. He even formed a new group called Circle of Fire, representing all the Green Lanterns from all alternate realities. However, the Circle of Fire was created from Kyle's mind and the rest of the members of the JLA became concerned about Kyle's powers and asked him to put these heroes back in his mind where they came from. Kyle unlocked new powers in this process and finally even confronted Oblivion and trapped him in his mind. Kyle's identity after gaining the powers of Ion. After defeating Oblivion, Kyle absorbed a lot of energy, such as the central battery energies left behind by Hal, and he even got rid of all his hate stored within his being. This resulted in him gaining the powers of the Ion, which was the sentient willpower that existed within the central power battery. Kyle then harnessed the energy of the Ion to gain all the energies from the sun and the guardians of the universe, and even used it to embrace his fear and anger. Kyle also ended up fighting Nero, who had a similar connection to the Oon, energy and the two battled each other to claim the power of the Ion. After defeating Nero, Kyle claimed the powers of Ion and became a near omnipotent being who stored all of the universe's energy. He used this to heal Jon Stewart's in injury and enable him to walk again. Kyle also gave Jade her powers again. He gained much more importance in the JLA due to his newfound powers and abilities to sense attacks and invasions even before they happened. He also carried out several missions such as fertilizing the grounds of Africa, revitalizing the dormant energies of Star heart within Jade and so on. He also learned his father's true identity as Gabriel Vasquez only after gaining the powers of Ion. He used his power to restart the Lantern Battery on the planet of Oa. He even resumed the Green Lantern Corps and shared some of his energy with the Central Power Battery, thereby creating new Guardians of the Universe. He essentially revived all of the Guardians who had ceased to exist when Hal Jordan turned evil and Kyle then advised Ganthet to raise this new generation of Guardians. Ganthet praised Kyle for his selfless acts and Kyle finally used the last of his ion powers to change some things about his ring. He then decided to leave the JLA for a while and go into exile and handed a ring to Jon Stewart asking him to replace Kyle in the JLA. After returning to the JLA, Kyle learned that Jade had started seeing someone else and thus he decided to leave once again and stay with his mother for some time. Kyle's role in Hal Jordan's revival, Green Lantern Rebirth. After living with his mother for some time, Kyle's mother died and he believed that Major Force was responsible for killing her. He went after Major Force and even decapitated his body. Kyle then realised that he had become a threat to the world. He decided to leave Earth and head to space, while Ganthet entrusted him with the responsibility of retrieving Hal Jordan's body from the sun. Kyle then learned that Hal was possessed by an entity which caused him to become evil. Later, he even played a role in Hal's revival 
survival. Hal and Kyle work together to defeat the entity known as Sinestro and they then set off on an adventure to face the Parallax entity. They were accompanied by Kilowog, John Stewart as well as Guy Gardner and Kilowog later asked Kyle to carry out a mission for him. Kyle then headed out to meet the Guardians of the Universe who praised Kyle and even called him their torchbearer who maintained the legacy of the core through a dark period. Kyle's experience with the Ion Entity During the Infinite Crisis story arc, Jade died in a battle and sent her energy to Kyle during her last moments. This enabled Kyle to harness the power of the Ion Entity one more, and he soon found himself on Sector 3521 amidst a ship wreckage. While two lanterns spotted him and tried to take him to Oa, he put his foot down and ended up on Earth with no memories of recent events. He soon realised that someone was manipulating him, and he then found himself on the sentient planet of Mogo. Meanwhile, the Ion Entity wandered around the universe and destroyed one planet after another, until Hal finally confronted him and learned that this was not Kyle. Instead, Nero had been wandering around the galaxy disguised as Ion, while Kyle was still on Mogo. Hal visited the real Kyle and the two of them met with the Guardians, who told him that this was all a test to see whether Kyle was ready to ascend to Ion. Kyle finally returned to Earth where a monitor told him that he should be dead by now. Kyle wondered if any higher power was behind those events, and he then decided to head out into the universe to clear his image that had been tarnished by Nero's actions. In the meantime, Guy Gardner told him that his mom seemed to be dying in a hospital and Kyle decided to visit her on Earth where the Guardians ordered him to return to Oa at once. Kyle ended up in a whirlwind of events and eventually the Guardians sent him to Sector 3888 to investigate an asteroid. He eventually returned to Earth and discovered that his mother had died and he even briefly reanimated her corpse to say a final goodbye. As this story arc ended, Kyle wondered about all his recent experiences and whether they were all interrelated in some way. Kyle Rayner's role in the Sinestro Core War. When Sinestro showed up with his yellow power rings that would help him rule the universe with fear, the Green Lantern Corps decided to go to war against him. However, Kyle struggled with his powers and realised that his powers were weakening over time. In fact, Sinestro targeted Kyle and broke his willpower by making him experience his father's death repeatedly. He even revealed that he had killed Kyle's mother by infecting her with the virus. The Sinestro Core War explored Kyle's struggles and fears and showed his vulnerable side. While the Green Lanterns were expected to be fearless, this story arc presented Kyle's human side and showed that the events of his childhood still impacted him. Sinestro even unleashed Parallax on Kyle and Kyle became the host body for Parallax. He struggled to regain control over his body while also processing the events of his childhood, all while Parallax captured Hal and brought him into Kyle's mind. Eventually Guy Gardner found one of Kyle's mother's paintings that gave Kyle some strength to pair up with Hal Jordan and free his mind from the clutches of Parallax. Kyle even served in the Corps Honor Guard. Kyle Rayner joined forces with Guy Gardner to work on the Corps Honor Guard, and they both relocated to Oa and even opened up a warrior's bar. The two worked together when the Guardians sent them to the Vega system to protect these planets from the attack of the Sinestro Corps. Moreover, Kyle also has PTSD due to his experiences with war. He got close to another lantern named Sorenik Natu, and they all worked together to defeat the Sinestro Corps. Eventually, the Guardians ordered the Green Lanterns to execute all the Sinestro prisoners, and Guy and Kyle were both sent back to Earth after they refused to execute such a large number of people. Kyle's journey to becoming a guardian of the multiverse. During the countdown and final night crisis, Kyle's name appeared in the countdown list that stated he should be dead. He then joined forces with Donna Troy, Jason Todd and the Jokester to find Ray Palmer across the multiverse. Kyle even ended up competing with Jason over Donna. They finally found Ray on Earth 51 and they learned that Ray was supposed to help the universe by putting a stop to an upcoming event. In a surprising turn of events, Kyle and Donna ended up becoming guardians of the multiverse. Kyle's encounter with past acquaintances during the blackest night and brightest day. After Mongol attacked Coast City, all the Lanterns returned to Earth and attended a parade to honour the citizens who had died in the attack. After attending the parade, Kyle headed to Jade's grave to pay his respects before returning to Oa. While returning to Oa, he was surprised to find out that Jade had now turned into a Black Lantern. He tried to destroy her as her current form was an insult to his memory. Jade then headed to Oa's central battery to destroy the place, while Kyle teamed up with Saranik and Guy to stop her and save the planet. Kyle then sacrificed himself and bid goodbye to Saranac and Guy before heading to the center of Oa. He even held a lantern's rupturing battery in his hand which was programmed to self-destruct soon. Saranac then tried to save Kyle's life by summoning the star Sapphire who revived Kyle by connecting their hearts. When Kyle returned to life he discovered that Guy had turned into a red lantern and he was forced to fight his friend. Eventually he got rid of the red ring and restored Guy. Kyle also got a call from Earth and on returning to Earth found out that his girlfriend Alex 
Alexandra Dewitt had also turned into a Black Lantern. He kept assisting the fight on Earth as the storyline moved towards the Brightest Day story arc. In the story arc, Jade was reborn again and Kyle told her that she must move on with her life before returning to Oa with Sorenic. He then participated in rebuilding the core after they were destroyed due to the war with the Black Lantern Corps. Kyle and Guy even confronted the Guardians about their lack of help during these fights and their new law that prohibited Lanterns from having physical relationships. At the time, Kyle was in a relationship with Sorenic and a number of Green Lantern Corps had even resigned due to this new law. Kyle then visited John and learned that his home was destroyed during the war. Ganthet later met him and informed him that all the Alpha Lanterns had decided to leave Oa. Ganthet and Kyle visited the Alpha Lanterns and learned that they had all been compromised and intercepted by the cyborg Superman who had taken control of them. After dealing with this issue, Kyle got concerned by a villain named the Weaponer of the Quard. The Weaponer kidnapped Sorenic and asked Kyle to bring Sinestro to him if he wanted to free her. Eventually Kyle rescued Sorenic alone but Sinestro refused to show up to aid them. He still sent the Sinestro Corps to assist Kyle and Kyle also got the help of the Honor Guard to rescue Sorenic and defeat Kord. Kyle's role in the War of the Green Lanterns. When the Guardian named Krona went rogue, he channeled the energy of the Parallax's forces to telepathically control the Green Lanterns and pit them against each other. Kyle and John soon started fighting each other, but Ganthet broke them up by using his powers to take their rings off their hands. However, the Lanterns lost their powers without the rings, and they met with Hal and Guy to discuss a strategy to regain control over the Green Lantern Corps without their rings. Hal suggested they should all take one of the red, blue, yellow and indigo rings and combine their powers to fight Krona and Kyle picked up the blue ring since it embodied hope. While they prepared to fight, the other core who were controlled by Krona showed up at the scene and tried to fight Kyle and the others. Kyle's blue ring then showcased the ability to charge the rings of his fellow teammates while Ganthet advised Kyle to focus on his mind to draw more power instead of focusing on the rings. Kyle focused his mind while Mogo appeared on the scene and tried to attack the four of them. Yet Hal decided to reach the central battery and remove Parallax from there whilst the rest of the team went underground to try and figure a way to escape the mind-controlled core. They all headed to the centre to reach the central battery while Mogo created a large number of green lantern rings and sent them all over the universe. Kyle suggested that they must deal with Mogo before getting rid of Parallax since Krona's army would continue to grow stronger if they got their hands on more rings. John then used his ring to transport himself and Kyle to Mogo but Kyle's attempt to cure Mogo failed. Finally John decided to tap into the power of the black energy to create a weapon of destruction and he even annihilated Mogo with the help of this weapon. Kyle tried to restore Mogo but he failed to assemble his core once again while the lanterns prepared to face Krona and his army of lanterns. While Krona was about to kill Hal and Sinestro, Hal Jordan stepped up and killed Krona with one final blow ending the war of the green lanterns. In the aftermath of the war, Kyle returned to Oa and tried to pull things back together while the other lanterns went after John and confronted him about his actions during the war. War. Kyle defended John and even insisted that the Black Lantern Stuart had killed the sentient planet of Mogo, but John told Kyle that he should accept that he was capable of doing such a thing even if it was in his usual form. Kyle's story arcs in the New 52. In the New 52, Kyle was a part of various story arcs wherein he was chosen to harness the powers of the red, blue, pink and yellow power rings as well. He then defeated the owners of these rings and even visited Ganthet on Oa to understand why the rings were seeking him out. However, Kyle ended up in a fight with the Guardians in an unfortunate turn of events and he used the red ring and mastered the Red Lantern of Rage to emerge victorious. He even ended up facing the founder of the Red Lantern Corps, Atrocious, and killed killed him in a fit of rage. Kyle later faced a group of new guardians who asked for his help in learning more about the universe, and Hal Jordan convinced Kyle to agree to their wishes and make sure that they were not potential threats who would betray him like the old guardians. While travelling with the guardians to the outer edges of the universe, Kyle spotted an anomaly that was guarded by Exeter and faced Exeter while the guardians inspected the anomaly. During their face-off, Kyle wielded a white light to protect himself, which then caused the anomaly to explode and release an entity known as Relic. Kyle and the Guardians faced Relic with some help from Carol Ferris, but Kyle ended up getting captured while Relic tried to study Kyle's memories. As the story progresses, Hal Jordan and John Stewart also helped Kyle to defeat Relic, who had somehow managed to drain the green power battery. The destruction of the battery has ended up triggering Oa's self-destruction, and Kyle finally realises that he could only stop Relic by trying to help him save the universe. Kyle confronted Relic and even led him through a wall that guarded the ends of the universe, thereby causing Relic to transform into a 
heart of the wall. While Hal and the others assumed that Kyle also died in this incident, Kyle soon re-emerged from the other side of the wall and explained that the entities such as Ion, Adara, Predator and others sacrificed themselves to refill the energy of the lanterns. Kyle later went on to battle the High Father, who had intended to collect one ring from each of the seven core to create a weapon to defeat his nemesis, Darkseid. When Kyle learned about this plan, he went to New Genesis and felt betrayed, since High Father was willing to sacrifice billions of lives only to defeat Darkseid. Kyle was also connected to the Life Equation, which was something that the High Father had been trying to obtain for a very long time. While High Father tried to use his connection to Kyle's mind to harness the powers of this Life Equation, Hal Jordan convinced High Father to see sense and thus averted a crisis. As this story arc ended, the new gods, who had been summoned by High Father, left New Genesis peacefully after establishing that they remained on good terms with Kyle and Hal. After this story arc, Oblivion reappeared in Kyle's life while working as the White Lantern. At this time, Kyle was beginning to lose his powers as White Lantern and he then decided to split his ring to create the White Lantern core before he completely lost control of the powers. In his most recent appearance, Kyle appeared as Omega Lantern and even helped the Omega Men in their endeavours against the forces of the Citadel. The Omega Men were a team of rebel fighters working towards the independence of the planets in the Vega system, and Kyle had joined their battle and had been helping the worlds of Vega to attain freedom. Ah! Kyle Rayner's appearance in Superman the Animated Series Kyle also made an appearance in the Superman Animated Series in an episode titled In Brightest Day, wherein his character was voiced by Michael Greco. As the episode began, Jimmy Olsen praised Kyle's artwork and we learned that he had been working in the art design department for Daily Planet. While Kyle expressed grievances about his works getting constantly rejected by comic book companies, a thief tried to steal Jimmy's camera. Kyle used his abilities to capture the thief, while Jimmy took a picture of Kyle as he proved himself helpful in in that scenario. Jimmy further proposed that they should print this picture in the Daily Planet, but the editor-in-chief, Perry White, outright rejected the idea. As the episode progressed, the Daily Planet spotted a shuttle in the sky while a member of the Green Lantern Corps named Abin Sur showed up on Earth and left a Green Lantern ring behind. He told the ring to find another owner, and the ring flew through the metropolis and finally located Kyle in the Daily Planet's men's room. Kyle picked up the ring and put it on, and he found himself in a Green Lantern costume. Meanwhile, Perry White barged into the room and ordered Kyle to draw the spotted shuttle for a story on Superman. Superman got to Abin Sur as he took his final breath, while Sinestro arrived on Earth and asked Superman to hand him the ring. Since Superman was unaware of the ring, he stated he didn't know anything, which caused Sinestro to attack him. Finally, Sinestro learned that Superman didn't have the ring. In the meanwhile, Superman located the Green Lantern that was hidden by Abin Sur before his death. Superman touched the lantern and travelled to Oa, where he learned about the Green Lantern Corps. The Corps asked for his help in defeating Sinestro and even asked him to save Kyle Ray. Superman returned to Earth just as Sinestro located Kyle and attacked him in order to take his ring away. While Kyle and Sinestro fought all over the city, Kyle's ring ran out of power and he found himself unable to fight back. Superman then arrived at the scene and took Kyle away. Sinestro went after them and soon located them. Superman helped Kyle to recharge his ring by making him touch the Green Lantern, while Sinestro went after Superman and even defeated him. Finally, Kyle stepped up and saved Superman, but Sinestro still overpowered him and managed to get his hands on the ring. The ring exploded exploded and temporarily stunned Sinestro, while Kyle revealed that he had given Sinestro a fake ring and that the actual ring was still on his finger. Kyle and Superman came together to fight Sinestro and even sent him flying away on a green lantern that detonated in the air. After getting rid of Sinestro, Kyle contacted the Guardians who appointed him as the Green Lantern of Sector 2814. While Kyle believed that he was unworthy of this role and that they should let Superman be the new Green Lantern, Superman assured him that he was suitable for the new role as the episode came to an end. What makes Kyle Rayner so powerful? Kyle Rayner was one of the Green Lanterns, which meant that he had incredibly strong will and could not be controlled by anyone else. He was even skilled in advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat and defeated powerful opponents without using his ring. Kyle had gotten his training from Martian Manhunter, and he was even a part of the Justice League, which had also helped him polish his fighting skills. He was also skilled in swordsmanship and was one of the most powerful Lanterns who had attained mastery over the Green Lantern ring. When Kyle would draw energy from the Ion, he even had the ability Ability to warp reality and bend it to his will. He usually relied on the Green Lantern power battery and ring to defeat his opponents, and this ring could even project energy, create energy and force fields, and even help him fly from one place to another. Kyle was also a skilled artist, and he had a mastery in painting, sculpting, designing, and other such creative fields.
Conclusion. To sum it up, Kyle Rayner had a compelling presence in the DC Comics, and he especially proved his worth as Green Lantern. He had quite a roller coaster story arc, and we hope to see more of him in future comics and series in the DC Universe. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks everyone.